Hello, everyone. My name is Katie, and I'm going to help guide you through Zenodi. Uh, I'm going to, in this first video, show you how to log into Zenodi, how to schedule employees, and then how to navigate uh, from your dashboard to the appointment tab. Uh, Zenodi is a little bit tricky, so I wanted to give you a, a several uh, video series showing you how to navigate Zenodi. You can use Zenodi on several different platforms. You can use it on Google Chrome. You can use it on Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. You can use it on all Apple computers, uh, Safari. And then you can also use it by accessing Zenodi's uh, application, um, which you will navigate through the iPad. We here at Ivy Nutrition do a lot of our uh, navigating through Google Chrome. So that's how I'm going to show you initially how to log in. You're gonna to wanna to go to ivynutritionnow.zenodi.com backslash sign in to go ahead and sign in. You'll use your sign in that I gave you when, you, when I sent you the email on how to access Zenodi University. Uh, you'll go ahead and log in and depending on where uh, you logged in last will be where uh, it'll show up initially. Now if it shows up at your uh, dashboard, um, which will look a little bit differently than my dashboard and that's okay, um, you'll go ahead and navigate out of the dashboard by going to appointments, um, but sometimes it can also show up in the appointments tab and that's where it'll, it'll initially show up. So there's a couple different things that we want to make sure we are in when we are in Zenodi. We want to make sure that we are not in uh, the training center that we're actually in the locations uh, tab and you'll access the drop down tag by here and then you can also go to your dashboard and access the tab here. Mine's a little bit different because I have every location but you should have your training center as well as any of these locations depending on where you're at. So the first thing that we're going to want to make sure that we have is that we have employees scheduled for the day. Otherwise, we will not be able to schedule any appointments or look at the appointment tab and really navigate it at all. So the way that we do that is we go to the manage employees and then go to schedule. Here at the schedule, what it is going to show is it's going to show all of your employees and then it's going to give times that they're available to work. If you have a split schedule, you can do that here. We generally don't have that um, here at Overland Park, so we are just utilizing shift one. So if you see um, today we have a chair working which is going to be an automatic preset that uh, Zenodi is going to do for us. And it's usually going to be three chairs. Now, what that does is if once you put the chair working, is it opens up the appointments to book online. So if you want less appointments to book online, you go ahead and move your chairs to not set. If you want more appointments to book online, you open up more chairs like chair four, chair two, to working. This is not going to make them actually trackable in um, the uh, where employees check in. So chair one through four would not be uh, clocking in, but it would just open them up for appointments. In Zenodi, we are going to only be booking appointments online through chairs um, and it does it automatically. You won't uh, have the option to book with a certain chair if you're a client checking in. Employees do not have the option to book online. And so uh, even if your employees are working today, for instance, at this day in Overland Park, Sheila is working, but she is not bookable to appointments online. 
So this is where you would change uh, whether or not uh, an employee is working and what their shift will look like. So Sheila's shift today is 12 to five and we've set it to working. You can change it from working to leave, to special leave, to weekly off, to not set. We usually keep the ones that are not working at not set and the ones that are working at working. Now make sure when you do this that you go ahead and save and update any work that you've done. Otherwise it will not be uh, saved in the computer. This needs to be done every single day uh, of the month. Otherwise your employees will not be able to clock in and they will not be able to uh, schedule on the appointment book. So it's super important that we do uh, and we fill out the um, appointment for, for the month. You can do that here and you can navigate easily between all of the days and go to the 19th and then go ahead and fill out who is working and who isn't working. Again, chair one through three um, here at Overland Park will always be set. And that's something that Zenodi went ahead and did for us so that we don't need to, to worry about it. Um, and that clients can book far out in advance because these chairs are available. All right, once that is done and you've saved it, you're going to want to navigate back to the appointments. Once you're in your appointment book, it should look something like this and you'll see all of the appointments that you have for that day. You wanna make sure that you are not on the room schedule because nothing will show up that you're on the provider schedule. And so in this day, we just had one uh, employee working. So we only had one chair available, but you can still override this as Sheila has here um, for the day if she wanted to take more uh, clients that day. So initially, these were all the clients that were available to book and they booked depending on the time of the service that they were getting. So if they're doing a 30 minute service, they would book for that 30 minute time frame. If they were doing a 15 minute service, they would book for that 15 minutes. And just having the one chair open would make it to where she didn't overbook herself. Now, Sheila has, because she decided she only had a 15 minute service here um, and a 30 minute quick service here, that she was able to take some more clients and she went ahead and overbooked herself here, as you see. Now, if we look at our next day, we have several providers available. And so we've decided to keep more chairs available so we can have more clients um, be available to book. And I will show you here on a busier day kind of what that looks like. Um, Chad has decided to leave himself open to book as many appointments as he sees fit in his time frame, but then he has also left two chairs open so that clients can book online and that it won't over override him or overwhelm him in the booking schedule. Here's another day, an example of kind of what he's done here. So that's a quick overview. Um, and in the next video, we will talk about how to schedule an appointment. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to log on and not navigate to the appointment book once your employees are scheduled.